Hi, I'm James Ward, a platform evangelist at Salesforce.com. I wanted to show you a little app that I created to help you create webhooks on Salesforce. If you're not familiar with webhooks, they're a web-oriented way to receive push notifications from another system. So, for instance, if on Salesforce someone creates a new account and you want to have that action call a web URL with some information, then you can create a webhook to do that. You can access the Salesforce webhook creator at salesforce-webhook-creator.herokuapp.com. So first thing we'll do is log in with Salesforce. I'm already logged into Salesforce, so then I just hit login, and now I've OAuth into Salesforce. And now I can create a new webhook or see any webhooks that I've already created. I'm going to come in and create a new one called Foo, and I'm going to do this on the account S object, and then I can select the events that I want to handle. Let's just select before insert, and then I need the URL for my webhook. I also have a Echo webhook little testing app. This is at echo-webhook.herokuapp.com. This allows us to easily test webhooks. What's after the, the domain name is just any unique identifier. So I could just say foo, and then uh, this will be called with the webhook uh, information, and then I'll be able to access and view whatever was submitted to the webhook. So just an easy way to test the webhook there. So I'll put that URL in there, and then I'll hit Create Webhook. So now this is going out to Salesforce, creating some Apex code, and then I have my webhook. So now, uh, this is using underneath the covers a trigger on Salesforce. So now whenever there is a insert event on an account, this is going to call that URL with the information about that. So let's go test it out here. Let's go create a new account on Salesforce, and we'll just call this foo and hit save. So now that will use the trigger on Salesforce, call that webhook, and now we can go back here and refresh, oop, not that page, this page, slash foo, and there we see the JSON that was submitted to my webhook. So we verified that everything works. You can find the source code for this on my GitHub, so github.com slash jamesward slash salesforce dash webhook dash creator. Check it out and let me know what you think. Thanks.